Stop number 25 on the Castrol GTX Cup Series brings us to Martinsville Speedway in Martinsville, Virginia. As we're here today for the running of the of the of the goodies pass of the goodies body of the goodies fast relief 500. As we have 75 75 laps of racing on this on this track, we on the second visit to the shortest and the slowest of the short tracks on the on the on the tour. Track at 0.526 miles in length, 12 degrees in banking and turns. And if you look overhead, track looks like, track reminds you of a little bit of a paperclip in some ways as well too. But in speeds and speeds here in Martinsville, well about somewhere between 90 to 95 miles per hour because of its long straightaways and very tight turns here. And the track that's hard and it's a track that's hard on engines and brakes for sure when it comes to a track like this. And here's your starting lineup for today's running event on the pole is Dylan Young in car number two, the Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac. He's alongside Chris Dalton in 55, the Jasper Engines Pontiac. Dalton's won a race this season. He won a 600 at, Dar at, at Charlotte, and he also won the last race on the tour at Dover. We brought to you on the tour. Dylan Young has yet to win this season so far. Second row has the Riverside winner, Jessica Shelton. And number nine, the Coors Light Milling Ford. She's alongside number 52, Seth Cole in the Alka Seltzer Pontiac. Shelton winner this season at Riverside. Third row has car number three, the championship points leader Cole Deaver in the GM Goodrich Chevrolet, the Daytona 500 winner. He's alongside one of the two-time winners this season so far, Kyle Matthews. Meliella Pontiac, number 42, he won this season at Rockingham and Sonoma. And Matthews and those, and those two drivers will be back with, with these two rides next season. <clears throat> Fourth row has Joshua Osborne in 26, the Quaker State Buick. He's flanked by number 28, Keith Batson in the Texaco Haviland Ford. Batson yet to win race this season. Osborne has won twice. He won at North Wilkesboro and again at Dover, at the first Dover race. In fact, we'll be heading back to North Wilkesboro next on the tour. Next row is number 15, Quentin Moore in a, in a, motor, in a motor crab Ford. And number 27, Daniel Voiles, who won a Southern 500 at Darlington this season. Next row down has Tori Gossett going for the Martinsville Sweep in car 21 because she won the last time he was here. At Martinsville to sit go forward. She's flanked by number 24, Phil Parker, in the Team Free Racing Pontiac. Next row down has a pair of bright yellow cars, the Pennzoil Pontiac of Zachary Fitzwater, winner of the season at the second Richmond event. He's, he's alongside the man who, who, won the, who won the night race at Bristol. That is the 68 car, Ben Cohen. Next row has a pair of Betty, uh, Petty Blue color cars here. The number 71 of Charles Samper and a number 43 of Mike Becker. Becker will be back with this ride next season as well, too. Next round is number 25, Colin Cropley, and number 73, it is Carson Gum, Carson winner of the first Darlington race, and Cropley winner of the day race at Bristol. Next round is number seven, number five, that is Austin Reed in the Tide Chevrolet, and number 98, Matt McIntyre in the Banquet Frozen Food Chevrolet. Next round, number 90, that's Caleb Fogler, and beside him, number 19, Jackson Haywood, and it's number 33, Nathan Orman, and number 4, William Brock, in the Kodak Film, Osmo, Kodak Film Chevrolet. Eric Monica will be taking that ride over next season. Next round is number 94, the winner at Watkins Glen, Dylan Poteet, and in the aforementioned Eric Monaco, the 66 Phil 66 Trop Arctic, Phil 66 Trop Arctic Pontiac. Next round is Trent Dunham, and number 1, he'll be back with this ride next season. And number 6, Cody McGurk and the Folgers Ford. Next row, number 12, Ryan George, and number 49, Reggie Bogleman. Next row down is number 8, the, another two-time winner, Noah Sewell. He won at Atlanta and the second Michigan event. He is alongside the Pepsi 400 winner, Raphael LaDuke, in the Western Auto Chevrolet. Next row down is number 22. It is the winner of the first Richmond race this season, Mitchell Hodak. He's alongside number 7, Aubrey Scott. Next row down is number 75, the winner of the, first, the, winner of the second Pocono event, Laura Chung. And number 11, Boaz or Ford of, excuse me, of Cat Batson. She won the season at Talladega. She won the first Talladega race, and she also won at Indianapolis. Next round is number 10, the winner at the second Talladega race, along with the first, first, along with the first Pocono event, Alexander Rowe. He's alongside number 20. It is Rob Evans, the starting shotgun. It's Ryan Brower, the winner at the first Michigan event this season, the Navy Chevrolet, car number 18. And that 18 car will have interstate batteries on that car next season. So that's it. So that said, here's just here's the command to fire the engines here at here at Martinsville. Gentlemen, start your engines. Main given the fire engines for some reason here today. A pair of Pontiacs on the front rubber just a bit here. Pace car is still a pet round of pit, 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 pit
track for the pace up, and we'll be back for the start of the race right after this. Pace car rounds through turns number three and four on the, on the pit road here as the pace is appealed. Comes off the fourth corner, the green flags with the fly, and the S and the goodies fast, goodies fast relief 500 is on. Dylan Young jumps out to the lead. Jessica Shelton in the second position. And the third goes Seth Cullen, car number 52. Chris Darton, not off to a good start at all as he uh, drops the fourth position. The yellow flag flies for the first time here today. And it's Aubrey Scott and Rob Evans who's crashed. And the car's upside down. That's, that's the, I think that was Caleb Fogler who was upside down. Ryan Brommer was involved in number um, 18 car. Alexander Rowe and Laura Chung. I see, see they, those two got any damage or not as well too. I don't think that I don't think the ten does near to the seventy-five. Take a look as to what happened uh, to cause the first caution flag of the day. Let's take a look. And I think the ninety car might have been the one that started it. And it was. He got turned. Focus on that 90 car right there. Let's take a look at the second replay right here. They go in the turnover. They go in the turnover three right there. He gets turned by the 19 car at Jackson Haywood. Then Matt McIntyre gets stuffed in the wall. And then Reggie Bogelman just turns it upside down right there in the number 90 machine right there. Um, I don't think the 20 car got any damage as well too. He just he almost got he almost reared into the seven of Aubrey Scott. And unfortunately for that 90 car of. Uh, Caleb Fogler, he sits on pit road right now and at um, Ford Motorsport Ford. Ben Cohen trying to get caught up on the with the field right now. So yellow flag flies for the first time today. Dylan Young is your leader. We'll be back for the restart right after this. Pace cars lights are off. We'll be, as we'll be, as we'll be, as we'll be back to green flag racing on lap number seven of this event. Dylan Young is your early leader. Second position is Jessica Shelton. Third is Seth Cole. Chris Dalton is fourth. Fifth is Cole Beaver. Kyle Matthews is in the sixth position. Seventh is Joshua Osborne. Eighth position is Quentin Moore. Ninth, Keith Batson. And Bill Parker runs in 10th position as the, as the eight, as the 18 of Ryan Brommer comes on, uh, goes inside here. He'll be the, he's trying to get himself back on the lead lap. As Dylan Young Leaves him, leaves him off turn number two right now as the as the as the leader of this event. But here comes Seth Cole trying to get on the inside of Jessica Shelton for a position right now as they come off turn number four. And Seth's going to take second position away now as as Dylan Young tries to go inside and uh, tries to stay behind the 18 car or at least try to get a try to get back around him. Brommer trying to catch a quick yellow flag here to get himself back on the lead lap of this event here. He's not he's got no damage to that number 18. Navy Chevrolet, as you saw Rob Evans come off, come off pit road. Cole Deaver up the fourth position. He's, he's gotten around Chris Darton, and so has Kyle Matthews. He in the 42 machine. He's gotten around the 55 car as well too. So they come off that fourth turn now. So far in the first 10 laps of this event here at Martinsville, here other than that crash that caused the only caution flag of the day so far. As you watch the 15 and 26 cars go at it right now, Quentin Moore in 15 and Joshua Osborne in 26 visit car. Both those drivers in the top 10. The points chase Osborne in the top five actually is in, he's, he's currently currently third in the points chase coming in this event.
payoff from the turn number one as you jump inside with Joshua Osborne in car 26 up to running right now in eighth position in the Quaker State Buick. Yellow flag flies for the second time here today as you saw it through the windshield of Joshua's car. As that was a break for the 18 machine right there, and it's Trent Dunham who has stalled out the number one car here. So, that, so the car being brought to the attention of the Skull Classic crew, of the Skull crew. Boy, did I tell you, it's been feast or famine for that number one team of Trent Dunham. Almost had a win in Indianapolis at the Brickyard 400, only to have it, only to have a caution flag fly on him. Come into the white flag of that race right there, and, and there's the, that's what happened there for Trent. Ah, something else that also happened. It was Carson Gummin, a 73 car, who has spun. Take a look at what happened to the Slim Fast Oldsmobile. He just got he just gotten around the five car of Austin Reed in the Tide Chevrolet, and he goes inside now. Austin goes inside, just puts the bumper to that 73 car, just turns him right around, does a little Matt Kins and Joey Logano deal, and poor Nathan Ormond had nowhere to go in that 33 car, and just put right into the 73 car. As Dunham brought his car to a, to a dead stop. So caution number two flying on the on lap number 13 at Martinsville Speedway. Nathan Orman on pit road in a, thir in a 33 car right there. Dylan Young still out in front leading, this, leading the way here at Martinsville. We'll be back for the restart right after this. Pace car about to make the turn off turn off on the pit road. The Pontiac Trans Am Pace car did. We're making the turn off of the pit on the pit road. Dylan Young, car number two out in front here. They have got and whatever broke on Trent Dunham's car has been repaired. He's now back on he's now back underway. Trying to get himself back on the late lap and trying to get the break that Ryan Brommer got on yellow flag. Now Brommer's back on the lead lap. In number 18 car in 32nd position here. The cars have raced so far. Nathan Orman, Reggie Fogelman, and Caleb Fogler. As Trent Dunham goes inside, he'll take the lead away from... Or actually, he'll give himself that only lap for the time being here. Now a, seven, now a 6, 17, and the 20 cars all, all trying to get themselves back on as well, too. Dylan Poteet currently in the best lap of race so far. 92.416 miles an hour. <clears throat> As they come off the fourth turn right now here, Dylan Young still out in front here. Rafaela Duke trying to get himself back in the, on as well too. And problems with the 21 car of Tori Gossett, the driver who won the last time he was here at Martinsville. There she is coming off pit road here. She was she was running in 25th position in the number 20 in the sit go forward as she now drives alongside Keith Batson in car 28. Gossett, one of the drivers running for Rookie of the Year this season right there, along with Ben Cohen, who ironically enough, is, who ironically enough, she, who ironically enough she runs behind right now in a 68 car. Ben having a solid day in 12th position right now in that Country Time Oldsmobile. Ben's been losing a little bit of, a little bit of ground in Rookie of the Year standing so far to, to Gossett, but, he, but he's, he's looking to... to pick it on up, to pick it up in these last few races we got left on the tour. But Cohen right now, the man who won at Bristol, the, the night race at Bristol a few races ago. Running, running solid right now in the top 15 at the moment here as they, as they go into turn number one again. And, oh, does he call Deaver on pit road? Oh, well, I, I, no, Deaver's still on the track there. Oh, Deaver. Deaver right now, we're trying to take eight position away from the 15 car of Quentin Moore. I thought had a heart attack right there. I thought Cole Deaver was on pit road. I thought that was our points right there. It's the 27 car of Daniel Voiles, who's on pit road, actually, instead of, instead of, the, instead of Deaver right there. There's, as uh, Voiles has something go wrong. Voiles, who started this race in 10th position, had, had, a real, had a great qualifying run. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, it's all gone to heck for that 27, for the 27 team of Daniel Voiles, the winner of the Southern 500 at Darlington this season. And he is... Um, Unfortunately, just a helpless sitter right now on pit road. 
There's your second place runner right now. That's Kyle Matthews in 42 at the second position right now in the Millie Yellow Pontiac. He'll be back with this ride next season. And at the third, Jessica Shelton. She just got back by Seth Cole. For that number three position, and she jump on board with Jessica. Take a ride with her around Martinsville Speedway down about 47, 4,800 RPMs in the middle of turns three and four. That's about 9,200, maybe 9,400 RPMs going in turn number three, or turn number one, excuse me. And that's about 9,300 again going in turn three and down about 4,800 again off turn number four. And you notice, that, you, notice that, you notice the gear position for Jessica, she is in third gear at this point. They're trying to get the engine wound up here. Some drivers are trying that little strategy. As we look inside our second in car camera, Joshua Osborne, there is Joshua's view. He's in fourth gear here at Martinsville, running in 10th position right now. And see how far Joshua pushes his Buick. He is up, pushes it up to about 8,500 RPMs and down to about 4,500 in the middle of turns number, number one and two. And again, it's about 8,500 in the middle in the turn number three here. Running right behind Mike Becker in the 43 car. Becker's in 10th position, Osborne's in 11th. And Joshua's last lap by 90.189 miles an hour. And as you see Becker, Having a solid day in 10 position at number 43, STP Pontiac. He'll be back with this ride next season as well, too. Charles Sanford running in 8th position, 9th position, I should say, excuse me, 7th, 8th is Quentin Moore, 7th position right now is Cole Deaver, 6th is Chris Dalton, 5th is Phil Parker, 4th is Seth Cole, 3rd is Jessica Shelton, 2nd is Kyle Matthews, and up front, and up front all alone is Dylan Young, leading by 2.27 seconds over second place here. Made at 2.26 right now, averaging just a little over 70 miles an hour here at Martinsville Speedway after 33 laps of this event. Working almost in the halfway point of this event here. Halfway is about, is about lap 38. He's got Trent Dunham up ahead of him. Dunham is, has got himself back on, on has got himself back on the lead lap for the time being. While Rafael LaDuke trying to get himself back on the lead lap in that number 17 car. As he is the first car left down, uh, first car left down. There are no lucky dogs in this series, by the way, too. In case some of you are wondering, here, no, no free passes. <clears throat> Rob Evans in 31st position. 32nd is Cody McGurk in at number six machine. Right there, that six car is going to have Valvoline as a sponsor next season. Aubrey Scott running 28th position right now. 20 er, Alexander Rowe in another car left down. He's in 35th position, as well as Noah Sewell in 34th. Laura Chung running 27th right now. 26th is Ryan Brommer. Carson Gunn, despite getting turned into the wall, he's running 25th. They're still on the lead lap in that slim, fast Oldsmobile. Matt McIntyre, 24th position. 23rd is Kat Madsen trying to get... Trying to gain a few more spots for herself in the points there to, for some points. As she is currently right now running in the top five of the points. I think she was in the fourth position of the points coming in this event, uh, coming into this event at um, Martinsville. Ryan George in 22nd position. 21st is Mitchell Hodak trying to get himself around the 66 car of Eric Monaco. And Hodak gets around him right there. That puts him in the top 20 for the time being. But Monaco fights back on the outside in that number, in that number 66 machine. But no dice in the 22 card to get his position back. And I think he'll be back with this ride next season as well, too. Talking about Mitchell Hodak. One guy definitely will be back with this ride. Or actually two guys you're looking at in this picture. Zachary Fitzroy will stay in the 30 car. And Keith Bass will stay in the 28 car next season. Texaco Havlin 4 right now running 19th in the field. The 18th position car is the Pens is at Penzol Pontiac. That's Zachary like Fitzwater, winner this season at the Richmond at the second Richmond event. And believe it or not, that was Fitzwater's only top 10 this season. Believe it or not, was that win at Richmond. He did it in 
pretty fine style, I might add, too. Donning the, donning the Michael Walter Pennzoil colors. <clears throat> um, William Brock right now running 17th in the building, number four, Kodak Machines. 16th is Austin Reed, 15th still in Poteet. Probably running solid William 14th right now. 13th is Ben Cohen. 12th is Jackson Haywood having a solid run of that Tyson Holly Farms four. The 21 guard car again of, of, of Tori Gossett again is not on the lead lap. She's 33rd right now after an unscheduled pit stop. Joshua Osborne running on 11th. 12th or 10th I should say is Keith is um, Mike Becker. 9th is Charles Sanford. 8th is Quentin Moore. Cole Deaver, the points leader, running in seventh position. Eight, the six, six is Chris Dalton. Fifth, right now, is Phil Parker having a solid day at number 24, Team Bree Pontiac. Seth Cullen, fourth. Jessica Shelton, third, trying to catch Kyle Matthews in second position. While well, Going Young, still with a 2.4 second advantage on the field right now as we have passed halfway home, completing the 44th lap here at Martinsville Speedway as we have now, as we have now 31 to go in this event. Take a look at how the leader drives around Martinsville Speedway here. Inside with Dylan Young, as he's still trying to get around Trent Dunham in car number one. Completing lap number 45 out in front here as, as they come off the second turn right now. You can see him pushing his car, not quite even as hard as Osborne was when we rode with him. So that tag on are barely over 8,000, up, up to about maybe 8,100 RPMs on that number two machine. And down about the low 4,000 RPM range in the middle of turns number three and four as he completes another lap. Second position, as you're watching right there, Kyle Matthews in 42 and the nine of Jessica Shelton. <sighs> Looks like there's any good battles on the racetrack right now. As you watch Dylan Poteet, Austin Reed there in the five car, William Brock in the four machine. No battles going on right now here at Martinsville Speedway here. Ryan Roberts is getting himself back in the late lap. Has now been up, has now moved his way up into the 25th position. Daniel Wells still sitting on pit road, the number 27 machine. But right now this is a battle, this is a fight for second place right now as um, Kyle Matthews and Jessica Shelton continue to go at it between those two cars. Back on board, Jessica Shelton's car running right now in third position, trying to get back around Kyle Matthews in that number, in that Melly Yellow Pontiac. Shelton next season will be driving the Budweiser Ford next season, the number 11 car. Two right now. We're down to 23 laps remaining here at this event. And Martinsville has been Dylan Young since right from the very start. There, he's, he's been trapped on the outside a few times on the start restarts of the race. Almost lost the lead, of, I think, at one point there. But that number two car is soldiered on so far. He'll be back with his car next season as well, too, as we mentioned. No genuine draft. Mobile one Pontiac out in front here. Number there's Dylan Young. Not yet a winner to see some, but you remember last season he all he also did not win a race until the until the next to the last race at Phoenix, Arizona. That was the only time Dylan won last season. It was the next to last race of the year, and he almost went winless last season. And he is winless currently so far right now. But barring any problems on the number two car, he looks like he may be a shoe in for victory at this point, though. But we still got 20 laps in this race left. And anything can happen in the last 20 laps, as we, as we said, as we've seen many times before at Martinsville, 
it's not over until it's over at this point here. One of the most over redundant phrases in all of sports or motorsports, one of the two. In the third, in the turn number one right now here, LeDuc still trying to close up on Dylan Young right there. Again, the 17 car not on the lead left. He's in 30th position right now. So things shake up the way they are right now. Cole Beaver is gonna is gonna not only up his lead in the points chase, but we may have a possible new second place runner if things stay the same as they are right now. Joshua Osborne currently right now, right now runs in 11th. And Kat Batson runs 23rd, so she, so Osborne could take second place back in the points, coming out of the, coming out of Martinsville, heading into North Wilkesboro, which is next on the schedule for the Tyson Holly Farms 400. Side again with Dylan Young in car number two. It's been the dominant car all race long so far here. As you can see the top ten best left race so best left the race so far. 92 miles as we mentioned for the top six cars there to left from seventh on down, about 91 miles an hour or slower. And Dylan Young is not even the top ten best left the race so far. He's in the top 20 though. His fastest, his best. His fast left 91.567. And the average speed just tickling 77. Is actually, is actually just tickling under 78 miles an hour. 77.838 miles an hour to be exact. Still trying to get around Trent. Still trying to lap Trent Dunham in the number one skull team as he is. Trent, Trent as you remember, had problems. Before the last caution flag fell, uh, fell and he had, when his car stalled and got teleported, teleported on the pit road and um, whatever that skull crew had, uh, whatever that was, whatever whatever's wrong with that car, it's been repaired now. Obviously, or else Trent would not be out there racing. But trying to keep himself, trying to keep himself, uh, trying to keep himself on the white on the on the lead lap in this event. There, Trent right now running, I believe. Let's see, he's in 29th position right now. Trent was running pretty good before all that happened. There's your second place battle right there between Dylan Young, between, I should say, between Kyle Matthews and Jessica Shelton. Matthews pulling away from that nine car right now by about a half a second. And I'm noticing, yeah, I'm noticing the gearing on these cars right there. Everybody else is in fourth gear. Jessica Shelton, the only car running in third gear. Remember we talked about the shifting techniques about, this, about some of these drivers right there, whether they want to keep the engine wound up or what they want to they want to keep the engine um low rpm i guess you might say it's, it's all depends on the gearing of these cars and how, on how much they want to turn those engines at any particular racetrack here whether it be on a short track or a speedway or on a road course well a road course it could it could vary i guess you might say but but everybody else wants to keep their art wants to save their engine obviously and sean wants to keep hers wound up But third gear, number, but third gear or not, the net number nine car runs right now third place at the at the moment. She tries to keep it close on that number forty-two car, Kyle Mendes. We as we jump inside of Jessica, we have already now already less than ten laps remaining in this race here. We're trying to complete the sixty-seventh lap of this event. It'll be down to eight to go. This time by. He's closing up a little bit on that number two car of Dylan Young. Over the problem Kyle's got three lap cars between him and the 42. Between him and the two car, I should say. So we could have a We the Coasters top two if Matthews holds on for second place. In the turn, ready to go right now here. Young. Here he comes by to complete yet another lap here at Martinsville. 
the margin is the margin is this time by it is 2.01 the last time by it's now 197 now but the laps are clicking off we'll be we'll be completing this, this time by completes lap number 70 will down the will be down the five to go here at martinsville Still about two seconds between the front two cars here. Young, Brown Street turns number three and four right now. Take a look at some of the battles that's going on on the track right now here. Losing a spot now to Matt McIntyre, number 98, machine there, and the yellow flag has flown. Yellow flag has flown to maybe it, it, it may have been the end of the race right there. And it's gonna be Dylan Young, maybe for the first time ever, for the first time of the season, winning the event at Martinsville. Getting word it may be the 28 car Keith Badson. There he is in car number 28. He was. And there's what happened to the 28 cars. He was having to cause the yellow flag to fly for the final time here today. And it was the F yep, and 28 car stalled on the track right there. Problems with that number 28 Texaco machine. So evidently. Stall cars, what caused the the finish of, is what caused this race to finish under eighteenth will go Zachary Fitzwater, nineteenth will go to Mitchell Hodak, twentieth to Ryan George, twenty first will go to Eric Monaco, that is Matt McIntyre, Kat Batson, Ryan Brommer, Laura Chung, Carson Gum, Aubrey Scott, Trent Dunham, um Excuse me, Rafael Duke, Rob Evans, the top 30. Then it's Cody McGurk, Tori Gossett, Alexander Rowe, Noah Sewell, Keith Batson, and Daniel Boyle is the cars that finish this race here, here today. Cars out of the race were Nathan Orman, Reggie Fogelman, and Caleb Fogler. Those are the cars out of the race here today. So that would do here today at Martinsville Speedway here. Uh, tw uh, realistically, there were 28 cars to finish on the lead lap in this race and 30 and 37 cars finish this race here. Daniel Bulls a whopping 52 laps down. You probably spent about 50 of those on pit road, I think, but the tough break, for that, the tough break nonetheless for that 27 team. So that would do here today at Martinsville Speedway. Congratulations once again to, D to Dylan Young, the winner here today at Martinsville Speedway in uh, what was pretty much a quiet race pretty much here if you if you like what you see here if you like what you see here be sure to subscribe to the industry to the industry to the end of series sports and gaming channel we got everything on this, we got everything on this channel we got in our races we got gaming videos we got in our online videos whatever the president of the industry says Seth Gold has to have for his channel be sure to be sure to check out Seth's store sell cup series the main series on this channel and if you want in on future and if you want in on future seasons of Seth's series be sure to get with Seth and he'll get you going and also be sure to check out our other channel that is, that is NSRA Offline. That channel being x 867 x is Dylan Young channel, the man who won today here at Martinsville, to, ironically enough. Uh, he's a guy that runs the NSRA Spectrum Mobile, NSRA Spectrum, Spectrum Mobile Cup Series. And also be sure to check out our other channel. Also be sure to check out the channel that our top two finishers collaborated in doing. That channel being We The Coasters here. If you are a... a um, Roller coaster slash theme park slash amusement park fan, then fan, then you are then we do coasters the channel for you on that one here. Subscribe to that channel and also subscribe to this channel you're watching here, the Industry channel for some cool stuff as well too. You will not regret doing so. So that will do it here today at Martinsville Speedway. For now, this is James Wilson. This has been a production of the Industry celebrating 11 years of offline racing as of offline racing as best. We'll see you at North Wilkesboro for the Tyson Holly Farms 400.